Welcome to the Talent Management Console, an application to empower you to increase your productivity while optimizing your integrations with instant, elastic, and secure capacity. This video will show you how to use the Management tab functionality to add artifacts, create connections and resources, and then use them to construct simple tasks and plans. First and foremost, within the Management tab, I have the opportunity to choose which environment I want to work within. Selecting an Environment tab reveals all available workspaces within a defined environment. These tiles encompass all specified operation elements for the given workspace. Here it shows me how many remote engines I have associated with this workspace. A remote engine allows me to run tasks that use on-premises applications and databases. A workspace also houses my tasks. Tasks are executable integration processes that contain a job, route, or data service published from Talent Studio. These tasks can be executed individually or combined within scheduled operations known as plans. I can find the building blocks of these tasks within my lists of artifacts, connections, and resources. To demonstrate how these elements work together, I've made an update to my Dropbox Studio job from the last video, which now uses a country code lookup and writes the final output to a table in my Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse. Before publishing my job to the cloud as an artifact, I'll first make sure all task elements are ready to go within the Talent Management Console. My job requires two connections, one for Dropbox and one for Snowflake. In the last video, we quickly configured a Dropbox connection using a defined application connection within Talent Cloud. However, since Snowflake is not a defined connection, I can make a custom connection and manually define all the necessary elements. In the application name, I need to ensure the name matches what is defined in my studio job context variables so the Talent Management Console recognizes it properly. In this case, it is simply Snowflake, all lowercase. I'll add the parameters I need, which are in this case account, user ID, password, warehouse, schema name, and database. These parameters also need to match exactly what I defined in my studio context variables, including case. To secure my password field, I've selected the lock icon, which masked my password information. Once my parameters are added, I'll click Save to officially make this connection available within my workspace. I'll now upload a needed resource to my Talent Cloud environment, which is necessary for my job, which is in this case a country code lookup file. Resources are simply files or directories that can be referenced in jobs within Talent Cloud. Once the file is uploaded, I have the option to reference it in other jobs available within my Talent Cloud environment. To make sure my job uses this resource, I need to head back to my Talent Studio job. Within my job context variables, I need to define a parameter to reference the file within the Talent Management Console. The context variable name needs to follow a specific format. In this case, it is resource underscore to indicate a resource element in Talent Cloud, file underscore to indicate the type of resource, and country underscore codes, matching the exact name of the resource I just created in Talent Cloud. With my context parameter now defined, I will specify it within the configuration of the country code's lookup component, thus indicating to utilize the defined resource within Talent Cloud. With my Dropbox and Snowflakes connections created, using the parameters defined in my job and my resource ready to go in the Talent Management Console, I'm ready to publish my job to the Talent Cloud. Once publishing is complete, I'll head back to the Talent Management Console. Now within my personal workspace, my job has been listed as a new artifact and a new task has been created. The last thing I need to do is edit my task configurations. I need to ensure my task is associated to both my new Snowflake connection and my Dropbox connection. I also need to choose to use my country codes resource and then choose to run this job right now on the cloud. And with that, I've succeeded in creating a new connection, adding a new resource, and creating a new task from a published studio job, all from within the Talent Management Console.
Thanks for watching and please continue watching this series for more demonstrations of what this application has to offer.